Hey, hello guys, this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. Friends, in our DLP series, today I am going to talk about DFA, which means Data Flow Analysis. Uh, so far as per my previous videos which I have uploaded on the YouTube, you are definitely got to know that how to configure a DLP from start to end because I have covered almost everything, correct? So in this video, I just wanted to mention you that even though you have understood everything about the DLP, okay, apart from troubleshooting because that is something which I haven't covered because it requires multiple uh, scenarios where I can you know explain the things that how you can troubleshoot the uh, DLP of your product or agent to address couple of issues which right now I don't have so that I haven't covered but yeah when we talk about DFA okay which means even though you have all the knowledge on the DLP configuration part but still you are incomplete because you must need to perform the DFA on your organization it could be for your or your client organization because until and unless you are not getting the data from the particular department or entire organization be you till then you won't be able to configure effective policy right so that is what in this video I am going to show you some templates which I personally use while doing DFA for my clients and this is very interesting to, uh, content guys you can also make similar type of contents for yourself and get to know the complete knowledge that how exactly we usually interact with the customer to understand their requirement their need and accordingly we'll propose the policy or rather we configure the policy based on their input instead of our right so let's check out how exactly this thing works after this small intro <laughs> Welcome back guys. Guys very first when you start interacting with your manager for your company or your client uh, organization right. So what you will have to do very first you will have to showcase the some kind of a presentation okay. So that they will get to know that how exactly this thing works. So there are a couple of the uh, you know presentation you will have to create PPTs. So one is for the customer IT team and then the second one is for customer business team which actually uh, here the CISO and managers are you know, probably involved and here their local IT team in which you are going to interact and apart from that once this both the things are done after that you can explain them that how exactly you are going to perform the entire action so this kind of two to three presentation you will have to do and here are some reference document let me just open one by one so that you will get to know this is like some kind of a GDPR policy okay so this thing you can always show to customer this is very useful so let me close this for now now this is the second one personal data protection bill this is also very important guys it has lot of information you can always show this to your client or just go through with this particular document let me tell you what is the name of this document the personal data protection bill 2018 we may have now 2023 also so let's close this and the third one is now your customer business team so let me open this guys for a security reason i have blurred some of the part of this particular ppt because this particular document i have prepared for one of my customer now let me go to the next so that you will get to know that how exactly the presentation would be prepared i'm not going to detail in detail because if i start uh, you know talking on the this particular ppt then it will take almost three to four hours to complete the entire session for me so i'm just going quickly and done now let's open the next one so the second ppt i won't be able to showcase you because it has lots of you know personal information about the client so that is we'll skip now let me show you the third one that is dfa workshop here we go see how exactly i have prepared just go through with all the information guys this is very 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 interesting now let's you know go back to the, our main concern guys once you show on the ppt to the client and once they agree then you will have to create one plan under this plan you are going to you know mention your task statement that how exactly you are going to process your documents or you can say how you are going to track your activity and there is some additional information like your serial number, department, process name, location, DFA workshop status, 
CDIS chat presentation, one-on-one -on -one department spoke discussion. So there you are going to interact with couple of uh, BO manager or team leads. Let's check out this. This is very effective, guys. Okay. Now let me show you a couple of more Excel sheets so that you will get to know. And guys, once you started interacting, then this is the actual template in which you will have to work on. So this is about documentation revision, then type of classification. Under that, there is again uh, the complete business information here. And here are some outline which you have captured from the various teams. Just for your example, let's take out this payroll input. Purpose of report, monthly payroll inputs of user, sample data name, payroll data, excel file. The department owner of this particular data or information is C and B team. It could be A and B team or you can say HR or A, any anybody finance team. The application involved in this is since this is excel so we can say it's an excel file and the classification is confidential. So why this is confidential? It's just because it contains user PII data and it cannot be shared with external hence it is considered as a confidential who should have access then again finance team and c and b team incident severity it could be four so all this data i have captured with by interacting with different different department in this particular scenario i have interacted with finance now type of confidential information so this is employee data because it contains payroll information then identification of keywords terms available in report so let's say template attached and where exactly this all the reports are saved so this is stored in this particular file server path or you can say url medium for transmission of confidential information so this is could be go via email who are authorized to share this with the external third party then let's say we can whitelist couple of email id which is whichever is mentioned here as well as couple of domain right so what is the control right now is in place so that particular file uh, share or url is password protected so this is how you know guys you can configure the data now wherever the email is required so here as you could see that i have written mail id of respective department members should be shared by SOC. so that is what the customer uh, said to me that for this particular department you will get all the email information from the SOC team so this is how I just created one template and apart from that there are many more templates are available. Let me show you guys. Let me just maximize this and here you go. Very much whenever you interact with uh, different different customer what you will have to do you will have to share this sample DFA document. Let me maximize this. Here again I have to just uh, blur something just because of my client information. Now let's go to the next page. Let me just scroll down second. So this is how you can you know create the standard document control change history and lots of things here. Okay, this is, here is a some kind of disc, uh, disclaimer and then here departmental information like what is the department name, uh, HR compensation and benefits, department head. So all these details are you know user uh, that particular department head will have to submit here like number of employees in the particular department. Is there any third party involved? So yeah, name of third party, so like banks and survey firms are variable, number of application used, so then 4. What are those applications? Microsoft Office, PDF, Salary, Software, Fund Management, so management Software, Power Portal, so this kind of you know, details are available, we can gather and accordingly we can create our rule. This is just a template otherwise, which you will have to share with the user and then you will have to connect with uh, that particular manager to have a short quick meeting and explain what are the things you required. And that is you will under, understand after what seeing my next uh, excel files now let's scroll more down how exactly your data flow diagram will work so here i have taken the example of ehr the hr team downloads the salary details from the payroll salary software then this file will, is used for record and internal references and the second one is the team downloads the details from a desktop based software the file is extracted in the excel format the file is saved on the local drive now I, and he in this scenario what happens the file is not supposed to send out of company ideally it should remain with the payroll division only so these are the some of the things where we can block the user file sharing using uh, the couple of protocols which is available inside the dlp right so here again lots of information is available here is a one more data flow diagram like the information is extracted summarized from the salary software here this is a you know one more example 
here is one more example the information is populated in self maintained excel file so so much of information is available guys here you just have to go through with all these uh, details just pause the video and watch these things very carefully now let me show you a couple of more documents sample policy documents so let's open this guys when any user fill the details right or you guys are filling in the details so here i know how this is how you can you know uh, mention all the things like department name so it is marketing role name so these are you know couple of role name critical information what are those okay so there's a lots of option available which you can just drop down and select as per your or use uh, customary uh, information then use of this particular document add or remove condition fingerprint fingerprint patterns and phrases so there's so much options are available similarly let me just uh, right side scroll this and then additional condition file properties here also a couple of options are available fingerprint schedule high severity initial proposed severity and what exactly the proposed action actual action uh, okay so these are the some of the things which you will have to uh, confirm with user our recommended action is audit only so there are so many things guys which you, with this particular document you will be able to capture right and this is you know a, a policy upload to website print endpoint removal storage remarks if any there are so many things are available source destination okay now let me close this and we'll open cdi document version 1.0 because this particular document is going to provide you a hell lot of information critical document identification sheet which is cdis data loss prevention program these are some kind of information like document title document classification use of content critical information so many information is here email printed hard copy any others okay which you will have to capture from the users let me just write skill so that you can be able to pause this and create your own excel file and here is a section cdis section one or let's say a b this is for the basic information this is for source and critical document third one is for authorized document transfer fourth one is critical document characteristic fifth one is risk assessment sixth one is sign off because at the end we have to stop somewhere right so that's the reason this is a sign off so once you fill all the details then you will have to take a sign up and for filling the details also you can take one more approach and guys just for your information so how we can capture data from, from various user for that you can create this is how you know department wise different different excel sheet from which you can configure the or let's say gather the data from the users for an example let me open the legal legal team uh, excel file then here it is what data we have captured legal approval memo internal legal principle okay so there are a couple of options are available here critical information finance information criticality expiry date never network manager responsible system administrator in business department so that would be network manager legal uh, senior manager emis senior manager so this is how you can get the data from user okay here he has uh, that particular user helped us to fill this couple of details okay now let me close this there's a couple of more interesting files also in our pipeline guys okay so that is also we are going to discuss in this video now let me open ira dap tracker just once so here also you can create the tracker where you can define the responsibilities where uh, this responsibility is from the customer or a stakeholder side or this is from our end so wherever the technical spark is written so that responsibility lies with me okay guys now let me close this and once you gather all the data right so we cannot use multiple excel files so we have to control everything into the single excel file for that this is the file which i have created check out this guys this is for the account department like in aml protection rule particularly account department wants that it has to be you know, supported with ms outlook 2010 2013 2016 or 35 all through right now 2019 2021 is also came but yeah this is a previous one uh possible action monitor block request justification possible classification so these are the things which we can uh configure into the dlp and here are the keywords which is given by team 
this is for email printing web post removal storage cloud network discovery so lots of information available similar way if i go to the admin then here the keywords and other stuff are getting changed as well as their requirement company secretary finance hr it legal marketing mis operation risk and audit treasury so these are the all departments uh, for which we have done the dfa so this is how you can capture all the required things guys and once all the details are captured from all the business heads then you can showcase the same information to your uh, you know manager or client uh, head or probably CISO and once they approve then you can start your policy configuration and this particular data will become your use cases so make sure whenever you respond to your uh, manager or client you should must have all the information because if user says that, that they want to you know block everything or something like that which is dlp doesn't support then you will have to be very straightforward otherwise after some time you will get stuck into the project and the sign up things will get difficult so guys now actually i have shown all the files which is available with me on my machine uh, because and if you want to create a similar file then please pause this video and then you can create similar file the reason i'm not sharing these files with you is just because there is a lots of people who takes uh, training from me and during that my workshop one day workshop i used to share these particular files with them along with some other files also due to security reason i cannot show all the files with you on the you know social media like youtube and if i directly share here then this will become unfair because those people are joined my workshop and just because of that they got access to these files as well as some other stuff so if you are also interested then i you know let me know in the comment box below i am reading all the comments and whenever the next time i am going to set up my workshop i will let you know in my community tab so that you can also join that particular workshop and there you will get a chance to live interact with me and if you have any question queries then yeah that is also you can ask to me i will definitely answer all your queries and if in case you won't be able to join my workshop then yeah right now you have one chance you can just pause my video and create similar excel or ppt file in your machine and you are good to start so guys i hope now you have completely understood that uh, why this dfa is important and how important role dfa is play you know playing in our configuration so until and unless dfa is not clear i always recommend to not to start with your configuration part otherwise uh, you know the, what happen you are providing something else and, and the client expectation is always different so instead of double work always stop there gather proper information and then only execute the project because scope is very important without scope never start any project otherwise there is chances that you will get stuck forever so friends i am just hoping that you found this video useful and if so then please click on the like button because the way you are inter interacting with me like via the comments or you know liking this video I, it you know keeps motivate me to share more and more content like this and if you don't respond much then probably i have to stop this series and move do something else so it's my entire things are available on your response so that i will get to know whether the efforts which i am putting into my videos those are you know worth it or not and just for the new subscriber uh, if you are watching my videos very first time then please click on the subscribe button and enable the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new video you will get the notification of those videos so friends that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video